Welcome back to Crooks. Okay. So, next steps. I want this treasure in here. And I kind of like this door blocker too. Um, using this door blocker to block him in there would be a help, but not necessary. That door blocker might be useful later on. Well, maybe not. This is a big open area. This guy doesn't come in and out. Yeah, it would probably be most useful to use it on here. So it's not the the biggest thing is getting this. this guy turns this way, he probably turns this way, that would make more sense. If he does, and this guy's probably going to come here, then I, I can unlock this door now. I think. If not, I'll just reload. Yeah, he turned that way. Now keep walking straight, please. Good, good. And he's going to walk back in there. If I'm gonna have enough time for this, but I'll give it a shot. I have a feeling I'm not gonna pull this off. It's gonna take too long. Yeah, this is gonna take way too long because now he's gonna come back. Um, he's gonna come back down here and in here. I have no way to well. Maybe if I go way off in the corner, I can hide. I'll give it a shot. I don't think it'll work, but... Okay. How far off into the corner can I go? Will his circle still touch where I'm standing? Nope. I can pull this off. And this guy's over here. Okay, good. Ah, I still have to walk through that circle there, though. I probably should have waited for him to keep going and go past. Let's see if I can do that. Nah, I'll just go back all the way. treasure left in this level. This guy's over here. That's fine. I got plenty of time with him. Now. And while the door is still open. That'll save me a bit of time. The next step is to get this treasure. It's the final treasure in here. Now getting somebody past him is going to be tough. And that's an elite guard too. I think I'm going to need to split my team up. Or I'm going to need to hide in this corner. He's going to be here. Actually, this would be the time to move. He's going to come up this way. He's going to stop here and look this way. So what I need to do is get one or both of my characters here. In this blind spot. He walks past here and walks to here. And that's when I run over here and grab this treasure. And then we both exit this way. That's that's the plan. Hopefully they make it there quickly enough. I'm not sure if they will, but give this a shot. Wow, 
Wow, this might, they might be going too fast because this, his vision cone is going to go this way. I need to stop him for a second. What is the plan? Right on. Yeah. Now. in here, doesn't matter who, back out, and the other one just goes straight out. Nice! All the treasures have been found. Now I just gotta get the, um, well, I gotta get this. I shouldn't have left. That's okay, I can get back in this way. Ready to serve. Or this way, it doesn't really matter. I can work either way. Whichever one's easier. Um, let's get characters near both of them. I gotta wait for him to come back. He's gonna stare at this door. Lobkowitz. So he's here, he's gonna go in there. And then he's gonna stay and look. And then he's gonna come back, and that's the time I should be in there. So let's get Lobkowitz in here. And then over to here. when I go in here and get this. chance of him spying me as I walk past here by mistake. So it's now a matter of, let's see, I gotta get this to open the gate. Actually, it's open, no, is it open already? No, it's closed. So I gotta get to this switch. That's an elite guard. I can't knock him out. But I could probably lure him away with a, a noisemaker. Which I do have two of, actually. This is just a regular guard. I could knock his ass out if need be. Well, let's get the team in place. There's no sneak. Well, Cleopatra could sneak past him. When he goes over here. He stands here. I could have Cleopatra go over to this corner. 
Doesn't matter if she's in his circle, because she doesn't get detected. Then he'll turn and go back this way, and she could flip the switch. And then chase after him. When he's staring this way, she could run over here. Yeah, okay. Let's see, Rufus is here. Cleopatra is here. This guy's heading this way, so this is a good time to move Cleopatra. Get her with the rest of the team here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now these guards are out of sync because that guy went to investigate that, which could work in my favor or not. Okay. So I could get Rufus in here now, no problem. This guy's still way over here. I can get him to here, which is a safe spot. It's going to be closer than I wanted it to be, but it'll still work. Hmm, he's coming here. I think I could have gotten there in time. Well, I might be able to. Technician ready. She'll definitely get there in time. That's that's for sure. Before this guy sees. Me. His vision cone will go quite that far. There we go, now I can move. Let's go. Let's get to it. What's up? Nice. Get the full team in here. Ready to serve. Well? I can have Cleopatra go directly for this. actually the right timing. I am gonna need to pick my way through this door now with him. It's probably too late now. How far does this guy have to walk? Maybe, maybe not. Probably too late. I'll just wait. Yeah, yeah I don't think he would have made it in time. Okay. Have her push the switch. I think that just opened something. Yeah, more than likely the garage door in the side of a volcano. Classic super villain. Looks like we've got some new wheels, at least. We could use it to get Cesare out of here. Cleopatra? Yes. Cesare isn't in the basement anymore. No, probably not. Maybe we'll find him somewhere else. Maybe. So, end of mission. Yes. End of mission. Whoops, I should have put him a little what closer. Is the plan? It's okay, he's not going to be seen there anyway, but I feel safer with him. He's investigating that. That's fine. Now, now I pick this lock. He's just barely going to make it that. Here. There we go. I wait for them to cycle through again. Let's see. This 
guy's back to his usual pattern. So he goes, he looks over here this way, and he comes over here and looks this way. So I could hide behind here. I could go and sneak through this way, hopefully, and hide behind here. So, can I walk back there? Let's find out. Yep. I sure can. That's all hidden. He's not gonna see me right there. Technician ready. Let's go. Or it's gonna go this way and then go there and turn that way. Why even go without do all that? Well, I could just go this way. I don't need to hide, I'm just gonna go straight for the exit. I should have wiped the camera while I had a chance. Hello, Ooh, is that Don Cesare? Cesare? You found my message. And you understood it. Yeah, well, I had a little help. I'm stuck in the drum. All right, we're going to get you out of there right away. Nice. Nice. Should have wiped the camera when I had a chance, but oh well. That reduces my score, but eh, it is what it is. Ray Reflector. Upgraded Maneki Nako. Hardcore Meltdown. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we found you. Murray was going to have Silverman knock you off. Yes, you see, I know. Murray told him to take care of me days ago, but Silverman kept putting it off. It's a good thing, too. In the meantime, I found pictures of Murray's secret base. I even know the coordinates. So that weirdo basement was not just some hobby workshop? Murray's using it as some kind of interim planning center until the base is finished. Mamma mia, he's got a huge laser set up at his base, Mamma which is mia. what he needs the Lunar Stone for. He's got a fault line in his sights, and his vantage from the base gives him the clearest possible shot. He wants to create a seaquake, which will then cause a tsunami and completely engulf the city of San Francisco. A seaquake? Seriously? He wants to show the government what he's capable of, so he can then blackmail them. Bada bing! How come you know all of this? Before Murray left, he told me his entire plan, loudly and in great detail, moron. Monologuing. <laughs> it's been the downfall of many, even Swift Sammy Q. He didn't even have a laser. Okay. Okay, let's just assume that all of this nonsense is true. Where the hell is the base? On the floor of the Pacific Ocean. Murray's always thought big. 
But a super secret hideout at the bottom of the ocean. Underwater a base. Laser that churns nice. Up tsunamis as government blackmail? At first we thought it was crazy talk. But Cesare's pictures backed up everything he told us about Murray's plans. We had to admit that we'd severely underestimated what he and the Luna Stone were capable of. Everything indicated that Murray's plan, in all its showboating and grandeur, would actually work. I was amazed at how the team reacted. Lobkowitz stopped talking altogether and started working on the Ruby Heart like a madman. Rufus and Rocket started working out like crazy. They knew they'd need to be in peak condition. Even Bishop, who'd always kind of had a stick up his butt, put his differences with Lovkovitz aside and gave him a hand with the ruby. It was up to us to save the city. Not just any city, our city. So we needed to get our hands on a submarine. And as luck should have it, there was a military harbor just around the corner. Ah, so we gotta steal a sub. All right, so it looks like we'll be stealing a submarine in the next mission, Dance Sailor Dance.